If you should ever find yourself wandering through the more dusky, darker hallways of the Crystal Castle, you might see a fiendish, sharp-beaked Skeksis vacantly mumbling to himself in the corners. Hidden under scholarly garments, he was both an avid historian and a madman, the lord of documents, the master of books, the keeper of scrolls, Skek Ok. The name Scrollkeeper comes from the fact that he was the official historian of the Skeksis and was in charge of what he always boasted to be an endless library of tomes, some dating back over 1,000 trine. However, because he was also one of the most dishonest of all the Skeksis, his historical records and accounts were often skewed and manipulated to adhere to his ever-changing political allies, which completely altered the actual history of the Skeksis, forever losing all truth. Dishonesty aside, Skek Ok was actually the most civil and sometimes humble of his kind. But this polite attitude would only appear if and when someone was expressing actual interest in his own life, such as when Brea was lucky enough to receive a ride to the tithing ceremony. Although he was naturally interested in all beings of Thra that could read and write, his vanity overshadowed everything, and conversations always returned to focus on him, being self-absorbed to the point of obsession. Like all the Skeksis, he viewed the Gelfling as an inferior race, and wished to educate and civilize them. But unlike the others who viewed their rule as a necessary manipulation, Skek Ok actually saw this as an honor or a noble quest to enlighten the lesser beings around them. He even had a keen interest in some of the creations, lifestyles, and architecture of the Gelfling cities as he traveled through the lands of Thra. But even his kinder outlook wasn't near enough to mask his bizarre behavior, because in reality, Skek Ok was quite mad. During meetings he would frequently show up late and then later randomly fall asleep. At certain times he could be seen alone, talking to himself in a frenzy, fighting off bewildered thoughts. His jokes were cruel and fierce, his cackling laugh was torturous, even the three sets of glasses on his beak displayed his self-infatuation perfectly as most likely they were simply just for show, wanting to appear more scholarly than the rest. A perfect example of this can be seen during one of the Gelfling tithing ceremonies, which both he and Skeklak the Collector were in charge of overseeing. When a farmer showed up to the ceremony with a shortage of goods due to the Skeksis darkening, Skek Ok took this opportunity to openly mock and insult the man and his wife, who was eventually forced to part with one of her beloved heirlooms. He treated them like dirt, not to bestow knowledge or a lesson, but because he actually felt hurt that he was not seen as greater or more deserving than them in every way. Upon the fracturing of the Alliance of the Crystal, his demeanor suddenly changed for the worse. When Celadon came before them and pled her case, the monster that waited inside him finally revealed itself. Because the Skeksis no longer desired to control the Gelfling and instead had planned to capture and drain them, Skek Ok felt no need to retain his civil attitude and became a sadistic devil just like the rest of them. Skek Ok's counterpart was Ur Ak, who was, of course, the official scribe for the Uru. But unlike Skek Ok, who simply kept inaccurate historical records and a meaningless position as the library's curator, Ur Ak held a very meaningful role among his kind. Not only did he carve the Uru's prayer sticks and wound those very words of prayers into the cloth linens they wore, he actually wrote the prayers himself. Where Skek Ak only took responsibility for something, Ur Ak was composing the very words that became so meaningful. The dark side comes from Skek Ak's manipulation of history, while the light side comes from Ur Ak's composition of history as instructed by the energies of Thra. Although he was certainly the most troubled and crazed of all the Skeksis, perhaps a certain level of understanding is needed for his bizarre circumstance. At first, Skek Ak wished to bring knowledge to all those in Thra he felt were underprivileged. He was on a quest to civilize the world, much like the Ur Skeks who had come before him. But due to the corruption of the Skeksis and their will to dominate all, his quiet life as a historian was shattered by the madness that grew inside him. Madness that was not his own, but a curse laid upon all Skeksis by the heart of Thra. Well my friends, that's going to do it for my video on the wild and scholarly scrollkeeper. 
Now it's time for you guys to leave all of your thoughts and opinions down below in the Great White Void. Why is Skek Auk your favorite Skeksis? As always, until next we meet, take care, and I'll see you guys back here for the next video very soon.